Hey guys, Cookie Combat here. So, inshallah, in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my training in Ramadan. So, currently, it's Thursday, I think it's the sixth day of Ramadan 2022, heading to a Jiu Jitsu training just before Iftar. It's currently uh, 5 57 pm. So, we're going to be training about an hour before Iftar, which is at about quarter to eight, inshallah. Um, Feeling alright yesterday, did some weights in the evening after Tarawih So um, just did a light session because I was feeling quite tired to be honest But nonetheless it's good to get some work in So inshallah there will be a good Jiu Jitsu session Hopefully do something, a little bit of sparring, some technique So in terms of training in Ramadan I would say you either want to train right before Iftar, about an hour before Or in the evening after your night prayer or after Isha and it's, if you're doing strength and conditioning you want to keep it more down to maintenance you're not going to be hitting PRs or at least you might do but you're probably going to be feeling tired especially like for me after I eat after I eat if not I usually feel quite tired because it's like a lot of calories in one go and uh, so you might not necessarily want to you know lift too heavy but still a good working weight or whatever and obviously if you're training your kickboxing and whatever grappling you know that's going to be dependent on your classes you know if you're training with a bunch of uh, brothers then you're going to be able to reschedule your classes accordingly like right now we're going to train just before if not inshallah so guys i'll see you at training inshallah I'm running a little bit late hopefully you can get some good some good footage make sure you subscribe share and like See you later. How's your Ramadan been? Not too good. I can't lie. I haven't been training, but Nationals coming. May yeah. 14th. May Trump 14th. Camp. I'm coming for all of you. Wow, Love wow. All of you. Okay, Abdul Rahman. Tell the people what's going on. Alhamdulillah. See training in Ramadan? Yeah. See, that's how you That's how you know where warriors out here. Absolutely warriors. How much training have you done so far? Every single day. Every day, all yeah? Day, all day. All day, wow. every day, bro. I'm wow. coming for you. Wow, Everyone wow. in my weight division, I'm coming for you. Just know. Sure. Just know. Assalamu alaikum, Rahim. Hey. 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 I'm a true warrior. I'm a true warrior. I come even at first. All right, guys. So just going to give some commentary over the sparring. Just looking at one round today. Here I'm against Osim, who is another blue belt. So here you see I'm going for the pass, looking for a, a knee cutter pass. Um, then I transitioned to holding my legs, trying to kind of shift my hips to get around his knee shield. Noticed that with Andrew Wiltz, who's a kind of world-class jiu-jitsu practitioner who I've been watching a lot recently, with his knee slides, he he cuts much closer to the centre of their body as opposed to far away. You see, when I'm sliding my knee, it's too low on their leg. I think if you get deeper then you can get your knee closer to their body and I think it might be more effective. So that's something I want to try. So here I managed to get the the cross face, you see, with my left arm and I managed to get quite deep. So I'm past his knee shield. I'm looking to turn my hips kind of towards him to allow me to kick out that leg that he's currently got in the, in the half guard. Yeah, he's just kind of lying flat right now. So there I, I managed to pin that forearm to the ground and I'm looking for a Kimura. But obviously he still got me in the half guard so it's stopping me from kind of getting higher up on his body so I can really kind of put my pressure on that arm. I was considering the straight arm lock at, at one point because his arm was quite straight. But you'll see that the main thing is when I managed to pummel my legs out of his half guard right about now you see when I managed to step over the head and then I can really get some good leverage on that arm. But you see how he, he really starts to explode at this point. I managed to get the tap. Alhamdulillah. And to be honest guys, uh, yesterday was my first training in Ramadan, first sparring and um, I felt good but I did feel like my heart rate pick up a, a lot quicker than usual and I definitely felt um, I think slightly more more tired than usual. You know, must be because it's the first time sparring. So here I I had the leg, I and mean, I used that to stand up to go to the single leg takedown. But here you see Wasim. So I land in the half guard, and Wasim he's going for the that Kimura setup, 
I used to, when I, I remember when I was a white belt, I used to get caught in this a lot. Um, cause I used to keep my elbows too flared. And here I must have had my elbows too flared again. But the way you, you counter them, getting this Kimura grip is by keeping your elbows tight. So I need to work on that. So here we'll see him, he got this Kimura sweep. I think I should have just kept my base low. I think I rushed trying to escape too quickly. But this is what seems specialty. Number one, Kimura sweep. That's his specialty move. That's his trademark. <laughs> but I managed to get my back flat to the, to the mat to stop him from taking my back or finishing the Kimura. So now here I'm in bottom side control. Got that cross face on me. What I'm trying to do is is prevent him from getting his his um, high knee under my elbow because he's trying to separate my arms. So I managed to kind of explode there and then swivel my hips out. Let me stand up. But yeah, we have been drilling a lot of side control escapes as well as attacks um, in the previous months. Um, I find that the, some of the key points in escaping side control is number one, framing on the neck and framing on the hips and then getting your hips right underneath their hips because that makes the, the explosion so much more effective because you have to create that distance and then you have to of course get you, you know swivel your hips to try and regard but the closer your hips are to theirs the more easily you can kind of push them away if that makes sense well see what he's doing is he's grabbing my sleeve as you can see trying to pull my arm across my center you know, so he can maybe armbar me or something like that. And he's got a very strong grip on my sleeve, which I'm kind of trying to circle my hand out. But sometimes, you know, when the gi goes over your hand, because it's a bit long, that's what happened to you. So I was struggling to kind of break that grip. But I was just trying to keep my elbows tight to not let him extend me. But here he's, he's upset my posture quite a lot, as you can see. You see how far back I am. Ideally, I want to keep nice and upright, control his hips, and be closer to him. So it's definitely something to improve on. I was thinking about um, kind of trying to shove that leg out the way, but then I realized he could potentially triangle me. So I put it back in. But yeah, it was a good training session. Pretty knackered the next day, to be honest. All right, guys, so that was the first training vlog of Ramadan 2022. Hope you enjoyed it. Inshallah, we'll have three parts. So, so this is the first part on training, diet, and the last one will be on sleep. See you guys next time. <laughs>